How are you today? Hope you are fine. Still keeping safe. Coming to today's, welcome to today's online class. We are still on our revision. Because when we come to argue, there are different ways to um, meet questions. Questions can be asked in different forms. So let me look at these ones and tackle them. Look at the first one. You are asked to find the missing angles. All of them are angular at a point. Remember, in our last lesson, I said there could be another property inside the main property. When we look at this, we notice that this is angle at a point. But you can just put angle at a point where you have value of all except one. It will now be straight, where you now equate everything plus the one that is missing to be equal to 360. But when there are more than one, it means there are some things. There is another property inside the major property. So looking at this, we will notice that we have angle 90 degrees, right angle. So from there, the right angle, we first of all say that we can find y using right angle. We say that y plus 40 degrees should be equal to 90 degrees means right angle. Where y will be equal to what? 90 minus 40, which is equal to 50 degree. Having found y to be 50 degrees. You look closely. What again can we notice? Oh, when you close here, you find out that these three are angle on a straight line from the slant form. An angle on a straight line is equal to 180 degrees. So addition of these three should give you 180 degrees. Then we say we can find z using 65 plus z plus y, which is now 50 degrees, should be equal to 180 degrees. Color like terms, 65 plus 50, 115, plus Z equal to 180 degree, where Z is equal to 180 minus 115, which should be 65 degree, am I right? Yes, 65 degree. What again? Look closely. This and this, they are vertically opposite. That's Y and Z, vertically opposite to W. So we say that W is equal to 65 plus 50. You can say W should be equal to Y plus Z because they are vertically opposite. W, where our Y is 50 degree, our Z is 65 degree. Therefore, W should be 150 degree. We say we have W 250 degree. Okay, let's say this place is U. This one is left out. Yes. At this junction now, we can say, we can now add all these things plus V to know what we get. We can say 65 plus 65 plus 50 plus 40 plus 115 plus V should be over 180 degrees in angles at a point. Now, 65 plus 65, 130, plus 50, 180, plus 40, 220, plus 115, 2, 335. Angles at a point, sorry, equal to 360 degree. Angles at a point. You say 335 plus V is equal to 360. V is equal to what? 360 minus 3.5. Therefore, our V is 25 degrees. With this, we have tackled this one. Let's look at C. Let's look at this one. This one, when you see something like this, Here is x to b, here is 3x to b. What is the major property here? Angle on the straight line. 
And there's another property inside that when you look at this, this is the sign of right angle, tell you that here is 90 degrees. Because right angle is equal to 90 degrees. That is to tell you that 3x plus 90 plus x should be equal to 180 degrees in angles on a straight line. Color like terms. 3x plus x, 4x equal to 90 will come over here and when a number moves from the main side to the other side the sign changes 180 minus 90 so 4x is equal to 90 degree divide both sides by coefficient of x which is 4 4 divides on 9 2 remainder 1 4 divides 10 2 Remember that two total of 22.5. We say our x is 22.5. That is not the value because here it says 3x. Here it says x. Now to find 3x, because we are looking for the value of missing angle. Now 3x will be equal to 3 times 22.5. 3 times 22.5 should be 67.5 where x is equal to 22.5. We find out that when you add 67 plus 22.5 plus 90, we get 180. Based on what we have done so far, why not try this one and let's see if you can get it. Thank you. See you next time.